Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has made a small tweak to his cabinet. The shuffle was announced earlier at Rideau Hall in Ottawa. Elena Jacek do solemnly and sincerely promise and declare that I will truly and faithfully and to the best of my skill and knowledge execute the powers and trusts reposed in me as Minister of Public Service and Procurement. Elena Jacek and Philomena Tassi are switching positions with Jacek taking over as Minister of Public Services and Procurement. After taking the oath, Jacek signed on to the job. She says she will be, quote, a passionate advocate for strong, sustainable growth and creating new opportunities for Canadians to realize their full potential. The Prime Minister says he doesn't plan on making any more changes to his cabinet right now. We've got CBC's Evan Dyer standing by live at Rideau Hall. Walk me through the rearrangement of seating, Evan. Right, that's really the way to describe it, isn't it? And I mean, this is really a cabinet tweak more than a cabinet shuffle uh, in the sense that it's just two existing members of the cabinet changing roles. One who had a more onerous role will be moving to the less demanding role. That's Philomena Tassi, uh, who was Minister of Government Procurement, which has become a pretty demanding and high profile job, particularly since the pandemic began. Uh, and it was occupied by Anita Anand, of course, prior to the last election, uh, who had a very public role in procuring vaccines and so on for Canada, um, but was taken over by Philomena Tassi uh, following the last election. Now, her, around that time, sometime last year, her husband had two strokes, she says, and his post-stroke recovery has been difficult. So she wants to be able to spend more time with her family to focus on his recovery. So she'll be leaving that post and moving into it will be Helena Jacek, who currently is in the cabinet, been in a, a more minor role, was until I should say this morning, and she was the minister responsible for the Federal Economic Development Agency for Southern Ontario. Both of these MPs represent Southern Ontario ridings. Uh, Tassie represents one in Hamilton, and uh, Jacek represents one in Markville. So uh, both of them are eligible for that FedDev Ontario role, and that's the one that Tassie uh, will be moving into. Now, of course, any cabinet shuffle of any dimensions, you know, requires the ministers to come here to Rideau Hall. It also requires the prime minister to be here, and he was here, uh, and he took some questions. It's the first time people have had a chance to question him since uh, his return from his visit to Newfoundland with the German chancellor last week, and uh, he was asked about a number of issues, uh, including, of course, the economy and inflation, the issue that we were just hearing about. So let's hear what he had to say on that topic. The Canadian economy um, has recovered more jobs more quickly than even the U.S. has following the pandemic because Canadians were there for each other. We invested each other. We have historic low unemployment right now. Lots of people have jobs, but there are still real challenges, and we're going to continue to do uh, what is necessary to support vulnerable Canadians as we move through forward. Uh, taking into account inflation, but also being careful not to do things that will accelerate or exacerbate the in inflation crisis we're facing. We also saw uh, some other questions, Suhanna, on other topics, including uh, what more might come out of that German visit, you know, the, the possibility of Canada uh, selling resources to Germany, resource-hungry, energy-hungry Germany, uh, and also some questions and quite a, quite a bit of talk, actually, about uh, the incident that affected the Deputy Prime Minister, Christa Freeland, when she visited Alberta last week, uh, and that sort of episode of intimidation and bullying that she experienced there. So uh, we, we saw quite a bit of talk about that. And I want to stick with that because the ministers took questions and addressed those issues yeah. of abuse that you uh, hinted at. Um, yeah. What did they say? Well, you know, they, Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister, spoke about it at length, and he said that it's a, of great concern to him that the Canadian political culture, which in the past has been uh, more tolerant, less violent, less heated than, for example, the culture, political culture of the United States, that it might be starting to shift. Uh, he talked about everybody having a bit of a responsibility to try to prevent that happening. You know, we've tried to uh, to learn whether there will be concrete changes to security arrangements for, for ministers, for example. We haven't really uh, heard anything back on that. In fact, the RCMP just declined to answer that question. Not surprisingly, they don't like to talk about specific security arrangements for security reasons. Uh, of course, we've seen some increases in security for MPs, uh, not just members of cabinet, but anybody who is a member of parliament can now 
uh, request to get one of these uh, alerts, the, uh, a button that they can hit. They have a, a sort of a small device with a hot button on it that can call police to them. And we saw the two cabinet ministers who changed roles also talk about this, about how it's affected them, affected their behavior, uh, what they think solutions might be. Let's listen to them. First of all, uh, Philomena Tassi, the minister who's stepping down from government procurement. Uh, let's, let's hear, she said that it has changed the way that she acts in public. Let's listen. There's a role for all Canadians here. If Canadians don't enter into this dialogue, it's going to get worse and it's going to escalate. If this behaviour is accepted as a norm, then we are going to be in a position that's far graver than we're in now. And I think there's a role for all Canadians to play in being vocal about that. As the Prime Minister has indicated, politicians included. I am a strong believer in positive politics. Helena Jasek also talked about this issue, and one of the things she said was that she hoped she wouldn't have to change her personal behavior too much, that she likes being able to, uh, to walk around in her neighborhood and, uh, you know, water the plants in her garden and so on without having uh, bodyguards uh, lurking over her shoulder. But at the same time, she also said uh, that she too has experienced a change, and, and this is what she said about how you should react to it. When you're confronted with a bully, what, what do you do? You stand up. You, you, you give your point of view. Um, it's not an argument, it's simply a, a question of stating your beliefs. And uh, Minister Tassi has said it extremely well. So some thoughts on that issue, no announcements, no, no uh, public changes as yet. Of course, Parliament is going to be coming back shortly and we expect it to have a uh, pretty sharp and partisan tone with a new leader for the Conservative Party uh, and two politicians, Justin Trudeau and Pierre Polyev, who tend to see each other as very useful political foils. They strike sparks off each other often. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens with the tone at the top, but certainly a lot of talk about what happened in Alberta. We'll talk again. That is CBC's Evan Dyer at Rideau Hall in Ottawa.